okay guys I am here to show you my crystal controlled FM transmitter and uh, this is the prototype um, okay let me show you the schematic um, here it is so uh, it uses a 24 megahertz crystal and the frequency is multi multiplied by 4 for a final transmit frequency of 96 megahertz as you can see this is the culprits oscillator uh, the crystal is 24 megahertz and I have used uh, IN4001 diode as a varactor diode so the audio comes in into the LM386 audio amplifier then it feeds the IN4001 diode and it frequency modulates the 24 megahertz crystal and uh, uh, T1 is feeding T2 uh, it is a buffer amplifier and it is also a frequency multi multiplier so its collector is tuned to four times the crystal frequency or 96 megahertz with li trimmer capacitor vc1 and uh, c7 so 96 megahertz is available here uh, c11 and l2 it is a series tuned circuit and it is tuned to the third harmonic or 72 megahertz so what uh, it does is it suppresses the 72 megahertz and uh, um, then the final output is fed to a wire antenna for transmission so so and uh, so here is the schematic once again for you and here is the prototype board uh, I built it on a copper clad PCB it gives an excellent performance for RF frequencies so here is the audio amplifier chip here is the 24 megahertz crystal here is the T1 it is T2 it's the collected tuned circuit tuned to 96 megahertz and this coil and this capacitor is uh, the harmonic trap for 72 megahertz harmonic energy and it uh, shorts it to ground so and the output is feeding a 50 ohm dummy load it is 200 ohms resistors in parallel and here is a diode and a capacitor it is um, it acts uh, it gives a reading of the RF peak voltage uh, so and you can see the RF voltage on the multimeter it is around 126 millivolts so this trimmer capacitor should be adjusted for the maximum voltage reading on the multimeter so and after this trimmer is uh, set uh, you can remove the 50 ohm dummy load and you can connect a wire antenna over here uh, it should be around 78 centimeters long for 96 megahertz and uh, I got around 100 meters range uh, let me show you the output on a spectrum analyzer so here is the output uh, this is the 24 megahertz fundamental frequency this is the second harmonic of 48 megahertz you can see the third harmonic of, of 72 megahertz it's down there so so all these frequencies are down by about uh, minus 30 db so that's around 1000 times so and uh, these are the rest of the harmonics uh, they are around 20-25 uh, dB down and one can use a low pass filter uh, with a cutoff frequency of 110 to 115 megahertz to clean up the output further so it will remove all these um, other higher har harmonic uh, energy so and over here it looks pretty clear this is the, this is our transmit frequency of 98 megahertz 
uh, the 72 megahertz or the third harmonic is somewhere down here this is the second harmonic this is the fundamental so um, so let me show you the audio quality once again it sounds pretty good for uh, IN4001 as a vector diode so let me show you the sound quality Okay, so here is the circuit once again for you and uh, you can take a screenshot of uh, this schematic and it looks pretty simple. Uh, the, I used uh, 19 EWG wire for the coil L1 and L2 and um, translates to 20 standard wire gauge um, for use in Europe or Asia and uh, as you can see there are two RF chokes RFC1 and RFC2 and these are uh, ready-made molded chokes so what they do is they isolate the oscillator from the buffer and they help uh, uh, um, like uh, they prevent the harmonic energy from getting into the power supply and it helps uh, in a cleaner output so here is the schematic once again and here is the spectrum analyzer shot the 96 megahertz um, is in the middle and you can see the all of the other har harmonics up to 250 megahertz so it is a scan from 24 megahertz to 250 megahertz and uh, this is the USB spectrum analyzer um, and I have connected it to the 50 ohm dummy load uh, with a 478 ohms resistor as you can see right here so, so once uh, you, t you tune the streamer capacitor for the highest peak reading on the multimeter then you remove the dummy load and you connect a wire antenna and you will get around a 300 feet range uh, from this simple circuit so and use a 12 volt regulated power supply to power this circuit so uh, so the frequency is rock stable thanks to crystal stability and uh, you can use a normal vector diode for IN4001 for example BB910 would make a good vector diode uh, maybe for better sound quality but I was pretty much satisfied with the response I got from this uh, IN4001 so all the components used are easily available so uh, if you decide to build build this project then uh, use this uh, method of construction this is uh, this is called ugly bug construction method you can uh, google it like for more so this is uh, this is very stable at vhf frequencies so i i recommend this method for construction of this transmitter all right guys so um, i hope you like this project and if you have any questions then you can comment in the comment section and i will try my best to reply as soon as possible thank you bye